Hey everybody, it's Rob here. There is a new meta again here with Mystic Circles this time on the Spirit Pawn. I just did Pit 150 and we are stacking Mystic Circle Pawns here. I did it in 10 minutes and this is without Resilience Roll and even without Max Resolve Triple Crits. And the build is a lot better now. I'll show you the full clear and the overview here at the end. But basically what we're doing, and I don't even have everything masterworked here in my 150 clear, um, we are using the um, Plains Power Aspect here, casting a Jaguar skill. And our quill volley is the Jaguar skill with our Spirit Hall. It's called this Mystic Circle here. And then we are stacking Mystic Circle Potency. And we already have a ton of Ferocity stack. And for every Ferocity stack, Ferocity stack we are getting generic damage to our Jaguar, which is actually applying twice with our Jaguar Spirit Hall. Because our quill volley is a Jaguar spell, a spell increased by it. And our... Spirit Hall is the Jaguar skill being also increased by it yet again and we combine all this with the glyph here that is called Ritual further boost boosting Mystic Circle Potency and we can get one roll on the ring of Mystic Circle Potency which is a separate multiplier and a roll here on our gloves also Mystic Circle Potency and with that we are now able to hit uh, some pretty incredible D DPS numbers and we also have like some very insane amount of life. I've been hitting for up to like a hundred trillion damage now with this build here in the 150k. And you can see like here this Mystic Circle, uh, whenever I'm playing, is pretty much up all the time. Here you always see like 14 trillion, and once he's staggered, 20 trillion, 42 trillion. Like the DPS just keeps going crazy. They're 40 trillion again. So this build is a lot better. We also have 27,000 life now. We have another new glyph set up. We are not using resilience just yet, but that's the second new meta. You can also use resilience stacks because life actually is triple dipping. However, we didn't even use this in 150 and we all did it in 10 minutes, just thanks to the mystic circle. No more moonrise, guys. You don't need a max moonrise roll. Uh, look for the planes power. I'm, sub I'm uh, expecting the price of these planes power aspects going up like crazy. And even without any triple crits, Again, we did a 10 minute run, which would already be like the second rank here, just right after this Chinese guy that has crazy gear. Um, and I'm pretty sure once people optimize this, 150 is gonna be done in like five minutes because the DPS seems to be a lot higher and you're getting more separate multipliers. You don't need any more overpowers, nothing. And um, the DPS is crazy. I'll show you here the clear and then we have the full gear and the full setup at the end. Enjoy the 150 clear, guys. Um, separate and detailed build guide on all this soon but right now i'm still learning i'm still improving my gear the planner is up it's going to be linked here in the description again this is the uh pit 150 250 paragon version that i'm gonna have in the description so enjoy the video let's go Come on, man, give me my fortify, please. 150, let's go. I'm almost fortified, boys. DPS gonna unlock soon. Actually, it takes quite long until he gets fortified fully. And I have a shield. I don't even know like why this guy is getting a shield sometimes. Definitely have enough DPS. Is trash pull worth it, you guys think? Fresh pull, probably not worth it. A 
get us going with some extra progression though. This feels like the 149 before I, I added the switch, roughly. Man, I don't like my mercenary, he just keeps destroying the pixel pool, it's so crazy. Look at the shield charge, man. He keeps doing it, too. It can be very annoying. Yeah, we have Mystic Circle Potency, we have more damage and more toughness in the, in the circle. Having like some good pulls is always nice. Waiting for about like 100 trillion on the injured state. And I mean it is. Oh, come on. And I ran a lot in that end. Oh, I can get so much more damage, guys, if I get the triple tempers. I only have one triple temper. I think I can get like... I will double this damage. But no rawhide. Happy hands. Uh, exclamation mark circle is updated, yes. Yeah, this feels exactly like the 148 felt uh, before I did the change. So I think it's about uh, yeah about 50% damage that I gained with the circle, and I'm not optimized for it yet. Uh, these packs maybe they'll follow me. No, they won't. Just found the rawhide in the cow level. I wish man. Yo, stop it with the shield charges, man. Like, he's pure evil. He keeps doing it, like, at the worst moment. The shield charge. Evil, evil guy. Follow me somewhere. I don't know which one is it. Okay, did you see that again? Like, I think he's planning on sabotaging me. It's like every time I have a pull going, man, the dude just like YOLOs in, destroys it. Without fail. Sabotaging a lot.
Okay, down there might have been another pack. Didn't really get to check it fully. Maybe. Oh, do you see the shield charge? He did it again. To the top. Up top, my friends. Yeah, if you have one, if you have double, triple roll, like it's gonna be like two sailing in 150s already. But you gotta get those rolls. It ain't so easy. I killed every pack so far, so I don't really want to backtrack all too much. Oh man, he did it again. I actually did something positive there. <laughs> Which way? This is a dead end. I'm gonna kill this pack. It's a yellow, it's not that great, but it's fine. Maybe I can pull it after. Kinda like got you better into the dead end again. You see it? He really likes to do that. <laughs> he just keeps pulling them. Last guy is not worth. Another yellow pack. And this pile no deep, so what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you see that? The lethal shrine just disabled the numbers. Okay, I don't know what was going on there with the lethal shrine. I had no more numbers, and then he just exploded. Well, here we go. That's it. 150, my friends. <laughs> I don't have triple masterworks. <laughs> GG. <laughs> well, I don't know, like the lethal shrine, I think is as crazy as the channeling shrine. Okay, my friends, we are playing Mystic Circle Potency. This is being buffed by this uh, Jaguar skill in Mystic Circles and we also have the roll here and it looks to be applying the multiplier twice. So that is very, very strong. And we also have the Ritual Glyph and various other stuff. I'm gonna show you the entire setup here real quick. That was a pre pretty fast clear because I don't have any resilience and I don't have triple crits on my helm and I don't have triple crit on my chest because I have no freaking rawhide. Thank you so much for the support, guys. So we are rocking um, slow here on the helm, barrier gen, resolve stacks. I really want to triple crit this. Uh, we're rocking resolve stacks here as well. Triple crit it again for feared enemies. We're getting feared with Scourge. And um, one resilience roll seems to be even more DPS. So this setup is not min-maxed at all. Like you can min-max it a lot more. I'm gonna have the planner that is min-maxed in the description. But I'm out of raw height. I can't triple crit. I can't change my tempers right now. But we did change to this mystic circle and that is pretty insane. 
Ideally, I think I want to master work the Mystic Circles here, but I got a min roll and uh, I ran out of temper charges. I got this on the last roll. So you can have a lot more damage than this. Uh, we got lucky on this one. We have one triple crit. This is a single triple crit. And um, yeah, our life pool is still pretty insane though. And when we hit stuff, we have, I think, a 26k life when we hit stuff. Then uh, we are rocking Ferocity here, Ferocity block scaling here, Kepaleka of course, Mystic Circle Potency on the ring with Redirected Force. Um, I have good Masterworks on this one actually. Um, ring, I only have one GA at the moment, can get more. Uh, Talisman, I really want to Masterwork the life, but I use this on my weapon throw barb, so I Masterwork the core skills. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna make sure you have 1k armor. You don't really need resistances, I don't have much res here. Just 1k armor is important because everything is physical and uh, just have like normal res. Spirit Hall, we have Jaguar, Gorilla of course. Mercenary looks like this, so shield charge to get fortify, this one to get armor cap, uh, provoke for more DPS. We kill the boss in one stagger, the mystic circle potency. So as far as I understand, this one is applying twice. You see, uh, we have 13 uh, stacks here. So this is uh, 13 times 4.1 multiplier. So that's 53, and we have about 60% potency on our Mystic Circles. So that means, oh, sorry, it's uh, 53 times 1.6. So that actually means we have an 84 multiplier from this, and this one is double dipping. So we have 184 times 184. And again, I'm not optimized. This is a 3.4 versus Moonrise, which would only be like a 2.3 or something like that. So it's a lot more damage with the Mystic Circles double dipping into the Jaguar main hall. And um, again, we didn't have resilience. You can also roll resilience. It's going to give you even more damage. So yeah, this thing is going to go pretty crazy uh, in the end. And yeah, skill tree looks like this. Uh, so we have three points in Vigorous because we don't have um, resource generation. In fact, we have resource cost reduction. It is a separate multiplier with Kepeleke and that also seems to be uh, the intended ways here. Uh, with the Kepaleke, so it's going pretty wild. And um, I have three in Armor Tide right now. I'm getting five with Prodigies. I took them off, follow through, because this one is not double dipping and it's only like very like low DPS. Uh, so if you don't have an Armor Tide roll on the chest like me, I mean, I could roll it. Again, I'm not fully optimized. For DPS, I could probably get rid of the Armor, fuck this uh, resistances and uh, go full DPS and get two more points from Armor Tide into follow through for like another, I think it's like 6% damage or something. Uh, we have Vortex, we have a 3 in Unrestrained, 3 in Apex, non in Diminishment, we go full DPS. We, we can't die anyways, we don't need rest, just go full armor and uh, blast. And then yeah, here these are the other points, I also changed to Reinforced Scourge, no healing, the only healing I have is for my healing potions, but that's usually fine. And yeah, we already did like a 10 minute clear, right? I don't know what happened with the lethals right there. Then we have Brilliance, Potent, Furnace, Resolution, Spiritual Attunement, Supremacy, Prodigy's Temple, and then Paragon Tree, there are a lot of changes. So, Spirit is the same. Then in the next board, Vicious Shield, we are now rocking Ritual, which is giving us a 1.1x, which, which is double dipping, another 10% toughness, another 1.1x, which is also double dipping, and it's giving us the Mystic Circle Potency, which is increasing our double dipping Planes powers on the gloves. Uh, making this deal insane amounts of damage. Uh, then we have Sapping here with Hubris now. So we don't really play Thorns, but Hubris, the vulnerable damage, is also double dipping. And it gives us a tremendous amount of multipliers to these nodes here in range, giving us enough resource, even without the resource potion, so we can use the life potion, because maximum life is triple dipping. It's working with overpower once, like you overpower with more, the more life you have, the more damage you do. And then it's working uh, normally with your barrier and your vicious power. That's the second dip. And then the third dip is the Jaguar main hall where it's applied again, triple dipping life. So if you get 20% 20, 20 more life, that actually means you get like about a 1.2 to the power of three basically. And even more with the vicious shield bug, like who knows even how much it is in the end. But life percent, Triple dipping, guys. So it's pretty insane. Um, yeah, we are rocking sapping here again with the hubris. And this one is also multiplying our intelligence. So it is very, very important to have enough intelligence in this build. Because, and the breakpoint is uh, 560 intelligence. I have it exactly. You can always adjust with nodes. For example, 
I don't know if I need more intelligence, I can switch uh, this node here to intelligence, for example. And I can switch this node to intelligence, whatever. Like, you know, you can like switch a lot of dex nodes to intelligence if you really need to. Like here you can do the same, right? I can get rid of this dex node and this strength node and take more intelligence. Just make sure you have um, 16.8 resource gen from intelligence because again, we don't have it on the ring and you need it to um, fulfill your 100% resource generation in combination with a 50% ring and a vigorous. So this is like very like min max setup. Like you need good gear to make this work uh, to get rid of the roll. If, if it's not a big deal, like if you don't have it, just play a resource generation here. You're gonna lose like 15% damage, uh, but you can also take these two passive points and put them back into follow through or something, right? Uh, or the armor tide, whatever, uh, to make up for the damage loss. But yeah, for me, I'm having 100% uh, resource a region whenever I attack um, just because of my intelligence and the glyph here helps tremendously because it's giving me 30 int twice that's like 60 int basically and I already got rid of a barrier gen uh, gem to get more dexterity in because the breakpoint for barrier is 123 and with the new helm that we have here we have enough barrier gen ideally you don't want always here I'm probably gonna reroll it to dexterity because dexterity is also double dipping and it's gonna give you a lot of DPS, basically, like once you have this. And yeah, you see here my crit bonus. I don't have crazy amount of resources, just 41. So you can get another 4 here and another 4 here, which I think is gonna almost double your damage. With Colossal, it's double dipping, and Colossal is double dipping in itself. And the resolve stacks also give you more crit damage, which is at... I don't think it's double dipping, but it's at least like one multiplier that you get as well. So maximum resolve stacks would also triple dip twice for Colossal because it's affecting your Jaguar Spirit Hall, it's affecting your main damage, and it would also affect then your uh, redirected force in combination with Interdiction. So that's insane. And again, you can also use Resilience, which is also triple dipping because it gives you, I think it goes up to plus six, and it gives you 5% life, again, which is applied three times in the, in the final damage calculation. At least that's the theory right now. And um, so yeah, the Hubris Griff here, very, very important. You just put in one Strength Node and it's actually active already. So very chill. And actually we could probably like put out some, uh, do some more optimizations here on some of the parts. I just saw this, like for example, we could do this. Well, yeah, like then you get another in instead of Dex and stuff. Like you can like see what you want to min max around. So there's still a lot of more stuff even. And uh, I'm gonna make a full updated build guide, I think, on this, uh, on the final version. And then we also have Convergence here, and we have the Ferminate here, so no more Talon Glyph on this side here. Talon is, uh, as far as I know, only applying once. It's only applying to your direct attacks, it's not applying to your main hall again. And also the lightning damage. I'm not sure, the Jaguar seems to not be lightning damage, so Talon is out, and we have Ferminate in. Uh, to get the convergence because there's another bug where non-physical damage is not working for convergence and you need to use Ferminate. Make sure you have at least 150% lightning damage in range to get it. Then we have the Colossal Glyph here. Again, we're not using any Gorilla skills or basically not having a Gorilla attack on our skills, only Armor Tide uh, to trigger resilience. But Colossal Additive here won't matter. It's gonna give us 2% X per resolve stack, which is double dipping. And it's gonna give us close damage, which is also double dipping with the Jaguar main hall. Plus revealing, uh, which gives us more damage to crowd controlled uh, enemies. And uh, yeah, for example, if they are knocked down, they are crowd controlled and our vortex also knocks them down, crowd controls them. That's why we have a big damage burst at the start. And you can see me here hitting for hundreds of trillions. Uh, we didn't even get a channeling pile in this run. So I think everything was pretty chill. And uh, yeah, just like that guys, uh, 150 is, is actually pretty comfortable. You do not even need the Resolve or Resilience rolls. Uh, just go for the Mystic Circle Potency. It is a lot more DPS, at least according to my testing. I hope you enjoyed the overview, my friends. Again, the planner um, is right here. I'm gonna link it in the description. This one is optimized for 250 Paragons. Uh, you can also play it if you have a bit lower Paragon. However, this is uh, what we are rocking right now. And here, I think in the best in slot, you have Resilience on one roll and two maximum uh, resolve tempers. However, I haven't tested this myself yet because again, uh, all my temper is already done and I don't have more stuff to reroll. I need to get like more raw height. And the patch is coming here soon, guys. So we're gonna get more raw height. And I think with this current DPS, even once they fix the boss having a low HP in the high tier, I think we still have a good chance 
that the um, bosses is gonna it's gonna be beatable. I think Spirit Bond is still gonna do 150 with all these optimizations, especially once you have the triple the triple tempers um, and maybe resilience. It's gonna be like another 50% damage increase. So. Even with full HP both, I think we will be able to do it. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Again, the platter is in the description. Spiritborn rocks. We'll see what happens to the other classes here soon. I hope you enjoyed, my friends. Take care. <laughs> GG. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.